Hola! Welcome to my hike. I'm Kevin, and I'm hiking in what was once a very arid and dry canyon here in Los Angeles. But because of the constant rain we've been having for the last five or six days, it has become a lush tropical rainforest. I mean, I really feel like I'm in Hawaii. Look at this. So this is kind of a little relief from cabin fever. I'm looking forward to this one, so pull up your muckers, grab your brelly, and why don't we go take a hike? Oh, that sun feels so good, finally. Even if it is a short window. The cool thing about these canyons is, you feel like you're out in the middle of nowhere, but then, look behind me. Yeah, the neighborhood. Well, this may be a lush tropical rainforest today, but this town is a ghost town because of the coronavirus and everybody hunkering down at home. Well, my hiking guest today unfortunately canceled because of, well, you know. So I thought it would be fun to revisit a hike I did in season one, part of a hike, part two, that I never aired. You know him from all of his movies, Midnight in Paris, Bottle Rocket, he's Lightning McQueen in the Cars movies. Yes, today we are revisiting part two of a hike never aired before with the very talented Owen Wilson. It seems like you're always doing films. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't describe myself as a workaholic. But, no, uh, but you're always working. Yeah. It's maybe. like saying you're not an alcoholic, but you're always drinking. Yeah, right. Do you, you know, you say you're a big risk taker, right? Gambler. A gambler? Yeah, risk taker. I mean, not huge, but uh, probably. Yeah, yeah. What's the biggest risk you've ever taken besides this hike? Gosh, I don't know. Uh, well, let me ask you this. Do you floss? I. Because if you don't, that's a big risk. Yeah. You're supposed to floss, you know. You're not a flosser? I'm, I'm not a, you know, probably I don't do it as much as I should. You're a beach guy too, yeah. right? You yeah. Way, you and Luke, I would think that you guys always hang out at the beach with your flip flops on. And Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> Hawaiian shirts. Yeah. Do you guys surf? I stand up paddle surf. Yeah. Um, right. I have a bad right shoulder, and so it makes it hard for me to paddle, you know, so in, you a, paddle in a circles. prone position. <laughs> What's the story with this hat? This hat is just a hat I've had for a long time. But this is the one you like to wear? You grew up in Texas, wasn't it? Yeah, I grew up in Dallas, but my parents are from Massachusetts, so we would go there a lot in the summers. Like to Cape Cod? Yeah. So what did you want to be when you were a kid? I didn't really know. Um, my dad was in advertising, so... Um, I kind of thought, well, maybe that's what I'll go yeah. into, but uh, I never, I remember kind of thinking like, God, how will I ever, you know, even ha get a house or anything? I didn't know <laughs> what I'd be able to do. You just moved down here. Did you come out with Wes Anderson? Yeah, I came out with, uh, with Wes and Luke. Uh, to work Luke? on Bottle Rocket. Yeah, yeah. and you guys and, wrote that? And what, what, yeah, and we worked on the script. Jim Brooks had us out here for a was couple that, years. Was that the first script you wrote? <clears throat> yeah, we wrote wow. that when we were in college. And it started off, back to the thing we were talking about, being a straight bank robber as opposed to a bumbling. Uh, <laughs> it started off where yeah. we were trying to make more Scorsese edgy movie. Yeah. And then it was sort of, <laughs> we just didn't really have the chops for it. When was the last time you watched Bottle Rocket? Gosh, I don't know. I get a little self-conscious uh, yeah, you have watching, watching stuff. Yeah. Oh, you are getting a little bit of a workout. But you're in great shape. I'm in I mean, really good shape. I, I'm in good shape, or at least I like to exercise. <laughs> I like to do... Uh, I'm trying to get into more strength training type stuff, you know? Yeah. Because I have a tendency just to sort of... You know, do cardio, get on the treadmill, and just, I get that rejuvy, groovy feeling. Uh, I've never heard really it like. put that way, but that's a good way to put yeah, it. Yeah, Reju and, and... Rejuvy, groovy. Yeah, rejuvy, groovy. But now I think they say you start to lose muscle a little bit. Yeah, I noticed, older. when I saw you today, I thought, man, he's lost a lot of muscle. 
What really? happened? He must be doing that wee groovy <laughs> juvie stuff. <laughs> Look at this tree. Look How great this. is that? Man, yeah. look at that. Do you ever do a scene, and you're not really sure why it's funny, but you do it because you trust the director, and then you watch it in the theater, and people are dying laughing, and you still don't know it's funny, why it's funny, but now you're afraid to ask why it's got to laugh. No, I, I, <laughs> I do have sort of the thing of that sometimes it's like, man, I don't know if this is really funny, and then it ends up working. Uh, but uh, I do remember... Jim Brooks saying to me and Wes uh, that he wanted uh, he wanted us to put in um, cut this scene. We were like Jim, it, Jim, it, but, but it gets a big laugh. And he goes, first of all, there are no big laughs in this movie. <laughs> he goes, a big laugh is where you see bodies moving in the chairs. Yeah. And I remember like literally like a year later going to see something about Mary and they come up to one of the big scenes and I remember looking around and it really was you <laughs> saw a big laugh. and it was like God, Jim's right we didn't have any big laughs in Bottle Rocket. You afraid of getting older? Yeah God I think um, I think yeah I think you know as I've as I am getting older, a friend was saying the other day that it's sort of like that feeling of, you know, when you see in a movie you're driving along and all of a sudden our hero kind of hits the brakes and the brakes are gone. And all of a sudden it's like he's pumping the brakes and it's just yeah. getting faster and faster. Yeah, yeah. So it's a little bit that kind of feeling. Yeah. And I'm in the sort of, the brakes have not worked. They're not quite working. And, and, and I'm picking up speed. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a, uh, I can't make it out, but is that a cliff that we're headed towards <laughs> right up there? And am I getting ready to just sail off it? Uh, so yeah, that scares me. And I gotta be honest, I like to get off the trail. Do you dislike having to get dressed up like for something formal? How did you know that? I always feel like it just gives me a little bit of panic of, oh, are you gonna have the right, you don't know quite know how to do the tie, and where's the cummerbund and the cufflinks and yeah. all that stuff. So it just seems uh, a little nerve wracking. What's your hippest look? If you're gonna go out and you wanna look really cool? I felt I was more of a, a fall guy where I could put on a sweater rather than a summer. <laughs> yeah. guy because I don't have, I have a little bit of the Irish yeah. skin, so I yeah. wasn't like, super tan yeah uh and so i felt like i never did as well in the summer um uh -huh. but put me in you know november you know when there's a little chill in the air yeah and uh oh, you're on fire man <laughs> <laughs> you can never be like a like a rock musician though you wouldn't want to travel around the bus tour bus well, I'm not musical, but uh, I hang around with Willie, Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson? Yeah. Well, how did you uh, start but, hanging uh, around with him? Because he's from Texas? Yeah, I think I met him through Woody Harrelson, and he lives on Maui, and uh, just started going over to his house, and we started playing. We're in, all in a poker game together. Oh. Yeah. I feel like when, if, if I'm, if, if I'm on to anything good, on this hike, uh, I kind of feel it because all of a sudden the camera gets like, like, yeah. <laughs> so it kind of gives so you're good at kind of a poker face of just kind of, but if I say, yeah, but the thing, you know, that I've noticed about like, it, it's like, <laughs> Were well, you worry about your, your skin because you're a uh, light complexion, you're from Ireland mostly? Yeah, my ancestry, I did that 23 and me. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much all sort what, of. What'd you learn? I didn't learn that much. I learned that there was one disease that I guess uh, I might get uh, macular degeneration. That's where you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, get, you, get, you lose your eyesight. My grandmother had it. So, God, you know, because when I got that from the 23 and me, that, okay, it looks like as, as I head up. Uh, the uh, 17th fairway, I could be blind. Yeah. I might not be seeing the ball at that point, but 
they'll just have to lead me into the clubhouse, but I no. did the I did the 23 me too thing. The disease that I'm susceptible to is a uh, STDs. STDs. Yeah, just a lot of STDs. Really? Because <laughs> my ancestors <laughs> apparently were partiers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. Huh? I just said hi. Sorry. Oh my God! Can yeah. I say hi? Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. I don't mind. <laughs> Is that why you have your uh, incog hat on? Uh, no, we were just talking about it, just sun protection. Oh. Yeah, but you're cruising along. Yeah, you're picking it. We're sorry yeah. to slow you down like this. Yeah. I didn't even look up. Yeah. Hi. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 yeah. I want to be excited. <laughs> we have something in common that you know. We do. Well, we have the same birthday. That's correct. Yeah. November 18th. Yeah, Scorpio. We celebrated our birthdays together this year. We did. That was, I, that, great, was that was nice of you to include me. That was great. I wanted to take some yeah. of the pressure off of me. Yeah, and it did. Yeah, it did because anytime somebody would wish you a happy birthday, you were able to deflect. I would say, yeah, and say, and Owen. And, and Owen. Yeah. And yeah. then I would kind of give a shrug. Like, oh. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Hey, look at this guy. <laughs> How are you? Come here. Hi. Oh, what a great dog. I love dogs. Say hi. Hi. Did you say you went to prison? It's, it's, I went to military school. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I got kicked out of high school. For what? Cheating. How long were you in military school? I was there for two years. Oh my gosh. Yeah, in were New you Mexico. Angry about it? I wasn't. It wasn't, uh, why do they call yeah. it military school? Because you had to do like drills and stuff? Yeah, you know, it was New Mexico Military Institute where they shaved, you know, you shave your head, you're a new cadet for a whole year, a rat, and uh, had to ask permission, you know, to eat, uh, you know, you had to eat sort of like a square meal, like literally before every breakfast and every dinner for that first year as a new cadet, as a rat. It was, excuse me, sir, Cadet Recruit Wilson OC request permission to use his hands utensils in the preparation, transportation, and consumption of his food and drink. <laughs> Do it. And I'd also like to cheat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't like, I don't want to, you know, make it sound like my parents made me go. Do you think you would not have mounted to anything if you didn't go to military well, school? Well, you know, it is kind of funny that, uh, so something that, that seemed like a terrible thing at the time, getting kicked out and my poor dad was on the board of trustees and, uh, you know, it's embarrassing for my family and, um, you know, to be kicked out for cheating. And uh, But if I hadn't gone to military school, it was my friend, my roommate at military school who was good friends with Wes Anderson and that's how I ended up meeting Wes so I would never we would never have gotten into uh, you know the entertainment industry and you know which to me is I consider a really uh, lucky life that I've had did you ever shave your chest uh, I'm not that, uh, no, I've never had to shave. Not for a chest. film or anything? Well, what I'm saying is I'm not very hearing. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> how far is this hike, man? Uh, Will we be back before dark? Yeah. What's your go-to candy bar? My go-to candy bar? I don't really eat candy bars. Or no? I would eat sort of now, you know, a, um... You know, you sort of get uh, tricked into thinking they're healthy because it's dark chocolate. So there's this one, the salty dog, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that is that is great. But I tend to think of that, like, you see the way I reacted when you said you favorite candy bar. I was like, I don't eat them. And then it's like <laughs> yeah. right into like yeah. the salty dog. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 72%. Uh, yeah, 72% dark chocolate. Um, well, what's your, what do you eat that's bad for you? Uh, you don't I like sugar? I eat pretty I mean, healthy. A... No, I think I eat pretty healthy. Uh, but uh, you more of a salty kind of a person. You know what? I like I like sweets. I like apple pie, and um, I like apple pie. Yeah, ice cream, coffee, ice cream. Yeah. Did you audition much coming up? I didn't. No, Man, uh, because so we. Lucky. Yeah. I the <laughs> only thing I got from auditioning was I got the cable guy. 
with Ben Stiller. That's right. Uh, and then I found out later that it wasn't Ben. Didn't even I didn't even sell him. Um, he didn't want to cast me. He wasn't he wasn't won over by my audition. It was actually Judd who was like, "Ah, oh, you gotta cast that guy." Yeah. I think auditioning is like a crazy, you know, there's because even when I worked on. I was around uh, Jim Brooks when he did As Good As It Gets and, um, you know, saw actors come in, you know, great actors to come read for the part that Greg Kinnear ended up playing. Yeah. Uh, it's just such an unnatural setting. And to even see some, like, great actors that seem kind of nervous, you realize that I feel like you could get more from just hanging out with a person for a little bit and then seeing if they have some of the qualities that you think... Uh, yeah. be good for the character although then there's you know i mean i don't see how you could hang around with brando and know that he'd be great as the godfather so there That's are right. some that yeah you do have to audition who are you the most intimidated to meet like a uh, celebrity wise uh, i was pretty nervous to meet uh jack nicholson and uh He's still looking like. for him. <laughs> uh, and I always remember when uh, I didn't really have any scenes with him when I worked with him. What if Nicholson was actually on the show behind us? <laughs> hey, Owen, are you talking about me? <laughs> uh, he said to Paul Rudd, uh, he was talking about the difference between acting on stage and acting in the movie. It says when you're on stage, something's over there. That's right. When That's you're in right. a movie, it's over there. Right. That's just like a, just a yeah. pro, right? Yeah, you don't turn away from that camera. No. You don't get nervous like uh, performing, do you? I do. I get really nervous with public speaking, not acting as much maybe on the first day you know as yeah. you're getting to know people but i get i get really nervous if i have to do if i was going to have to like talk to a college class or something oh, yeah, it makes too. me really yeah. and i've never done any of those commencement address or even saturday night live just because i get it too nervous the idea of it just makes me too uh even with cue cards and stuff i is that how you think yeah. it would wouldn't be that big a deal no no they just go off the cue cards but still, you got to go out front and do the monologue you in the go beginning. Yeah. De Niro was pretty... Uh, I was definitely the first day on uh, Meet the Parents yeah. where I had to do a scene where he was there. I was kind of taking people in to show them my house and kind of bragging about my house and how this wood is reclaimed wood from a Nantucket chapel, Siemens chapel, and just all this yeah. stuff. And I turn and... You know, all the cast is there uh, on this house tour, and I just see De Niro's face, and it's just all the lines went out of my head. But I kept talking, but it was just gibberish. It was like, thanks, Owen. Man, it was fun revisiting that hike. Since we hiked on that two years ago, it was burned down by the Malibu fires, and then it also had reflourished from all the rains. Thanks for joining my hike. Please take care of yourself, be safe. Wash your hands, wash your hiking boots, wash your hats, wash your glasses. Just have somebody spray down everything. Please subscribe, turn on notifications. Catch you next time. Happy trails. And sometimes it's okay to be nervous. It's like that kind of gives you, the, you know, a little bit of energy.